I'm very pleased to be able to uh, greet the southwestern Minnesota Synod from what I think is one of the most beautiful spots in the entire Synod, namely the Gusevus Dolphus College Linnaeus Arboretum. In the background here you see uh, a log house. It was actually built by Carl and Clara uh, Borgeson. And they came here 150 years ago, put up this log house out here in the countryside, and later it was moved here to the campus. About 10 years ago, I asked Jim Gilbert if I could create a kind of a heritage garden back here, and he said, you just go ahead and do that. <laughs> and I spend wonderful hours here in my garden. I think about the church when I'm working in my garden, and not least when I'm by my compost bin right here. Now, if you know anything about compost, you realize that it looks kind of messy on the top because I bring all our kitchen leavings, anything that is not fatty that might go down the garbage disposal, I bring it here and add it to my compost pile. And then, of course, I add some dry material like uh, maybe some dry grass, some shredded newspaper, even soil napkins. The two most important ingredients, however, are air and water. And when this all mixes together, it's amazing because after about three, four months, you skim off the top and there's such beautiful soil, better than anything you could find at a garden center, and all from this waste. Now, why does that remind me of the church? Well, because when I think back of 25 years ago when we were getting the church up and running, it was a very difficult process. And to tell the truth, it was kind of messy at times. It didn't look very pretty. But we kept at it. And one thing that always encouraged me was that I knew that in more than 10,000 places across the entire ELCA, folks like you were coming together Sunday after Sunday for Word and Sacrament. And you were studying Scripture. And you were teaching your children. And you were confirming young people. And you were reaching out to your, to your community. And then you were partners with the Southwestern Minnesota Synod and with the entire Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. And that's always what gave me hope. Now over here in the background, you see that the garden has just been planted. The only thing that shows right now is a little bit of lettuce and uh, maybe some asparagus, but they're seed in the ground. And that reminds me about the future of the church. The church is a matter of planting seed and then trusting that God is going to give the growth. Mm -hmm. You may recall that in the uh, congregation in Corinth, they argued a lot about who their best pastor had been. And the Apostle Paul comes along and he says, you know, some plant, others water, but God gives the increase. And that's what gives me hope about the future of the church. It's the Spirit's church. The Holy Spirit calls, gathers, and enlightens the whole Christian church on earth, including congregations in all of our 65 synods. That's what gives me hope for the future. You know, back in the beginning, we thought about a mission for the ELCA, a mission statement. And this is what we came up with. And I think it's as valid today as it was 25 years ago. We said, we want to be a church so deeply and confidently rooted in the gospel of God's grace that we are free to give ourselves joyfully in witness and service. So I thank you for being partners in the gospel.